This is a video to show how to crop a data set. Cropping refers to cutting, paring down the amount of a seismic data volume into something that you may want to focus on a particular feature or just make the data set somewhat smaller so that you can manipulate it uh, more easily. What we're going to do, this is the Kamano uh, reduced data set that uh, I've been using and we've been using in lab for the last two weeks. And what I want to do in this demonstration is show how we can zoom in on this area here that I'm moving my cursor over, which is at the edge of the Kamano Basin here. And uh, we're going to do this by uh, doing a crop here. So first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to move to this. I'm going to push uh, the S button. Uh, let me get back to the hand here. Hit the S button and click here so that I can focus on this area. So I'm first going to look at the area that I want to include in the inline direction. This is our inline, this is our cross line. So I'm going to leave the inline on and cut the cross line off. So what I'm going to try to do is represent the, the extent from about where my hand is out to the end of the section. And the, um, so the way I'm going to determine what I want to keep visually is I'm going to go up to this select pick mode uh, white arrow and I'm going to check sort of the distance this way that I want to go and I'm going to look down at the bottom and what I'm going to get then is going to be a cross line number because this is in one inline so the point I'm getting is a cross line number just down at the bottom underneath my arrow and it is 5437. I'm writing it down so I can remember it. Then I'm going to come out and for this purpose I'm just going to use the end of this which is going to be approximately cross line 5219. Okay, now I'm going to go and I'm going to shut open up the cross line and shut down the inline and let me flip the inline on just to see where it is visually that I'm looking. So I'm looking right at the point where this little uh, rise exists. So now I'm going to get rid of this and I know it's right here. So I want to look some distance this way. So perhaps I want to go to about where this bump is. I'm going to click it. Uh, that's a left click and that's going to be inline 2580. And if I come over to say here, I'm going to click it again, and I'm going to say down at the looking down at the bottom at the blue in the blue area, it's going to have in line 2380. So I've pared this down a good bit. The other thing I may be interested in is how much depth I care about. I may not want all need all of this water up above us. So I'm going to show both, and I'm going to say, well, I'm going to be interested in maybe coming to this water depth. Let's go to there, and that is at the bottom. It now shows depth over here. We're in a depth section, so it has uh, 2385, and that's a negative number because it's subsurface, and I'm going to drop down uh, to, let's say, all I really need to get to is about there, and the depth here is 3190. Okay, I'll come back to those numbers. Now we're going to do the cropping. This is the data set that uh, I'm going to be working with, the one that you're visualizing now. And I'm going to uh, hit a right mouse button on Kamano Basin. I'm going to come, to come down and I'm going to select Insert Virtual Cropped Volume. Cropped Volume means we're going to pare it down and virtual in this case means that it's really not making a different data set. It's just picking the parts we want out of the particular data set. So I'm going to click that. And it is now, this is what we were working with before, it is now working with a data set where the word crop has been added. So right now this has the whole data set in it. Nothing has been cropped. I'm going to double click with my uh, right mouse button on this virtual cropped uh, data set. And there's a tab here called cropping. So I can click that. This now gives me the full range of the data set as I provided it to you. So I'm going to basically put those numbers in that we want to reduce. So the vertical range is going to be from 2385. I'm going to keep
keep that minus sign in there because that would make a difference. Here I'm going to put, I had 3190. Okay, so that'll be my range in, in water de or in depths that I care about. In the cross lines, I'm going to go from 521, uh, 5219, and I'm going to go in the other extent of the cross line range, 5437. When I come up to the inline, I'm going to be going from 2380, and I'm going to finish at 2580. Okay, the skip option here, if I wanted to, say, eliminate every other trace to make the data smaller in terms of the inlines or the cross lines, I could do that. If I put in one, it would mean to skip one for each one you keep. So that would be every other data set. In fact, when I gave you this data set, I did crop it in both directions by taking every other, every other value. So I'm not going to cr crop anything by, uh, by skipping traces at this point. I'm going to say OK. Now I'm going to turn off this particular display. And I'm going to turn on the same things for the cross lines and the in lines for the cropped version of this. And we're going to get up here and move this a little closer. Now you can see we have cut, and this is now our inline direction. This is our cross line direction. Much more complicated in the cross line direction, you might notice. I'm going to move this panel so that it's, you know, it's not the one I wanted to move. I wanted to get this one. And so now we can. Um, look at this, and we can look at it as a manageable amount of, of data. So we've got a small piece. One of the things I like to do is hit the key S. It allows me to zoom in, but it also has the characteristic that it makes that the center point for rotation. So for example, I can keep my target within range regardless of how I zoom it in and out and how I, how I look at it. So this is now a crop data set. And um, I can, it really is not, as I said earlier, it's really not a brand new data set. It is just referring to the data up here. If I want to actually make this a new data set, perhaps to give to someone to show a particular feature, uh, I can go up here and I can come on the Kamano Basin, the, the crop data set. I can hit a right mouse button. And I could select export, and that would allow me to choose to actually export this as a distinct data set, either in a SegY format or in a bricked uh, realized format, .zgy. And you could then save that in a file separately. You could load it in. You could give it to someone else to work with. But it is often very handy to work on something that's smaller than the whole data set when you're looking at or trying to illustrate a particular feature and how that particular part of the structure works. So I'm going to stop there. Uh, that's how you would go about cropping a data set that can be very useful for illustration. Thank you.